Hello everyone, welcome to the fun known. Today we are going to understand number systems in computer. Let us first understand what we are going to study in this class. The contents of this class are conversions and shortcut methods. Number system conversion, first we will see decimal number system to other bases. For example, decimal number system to binary, other bases to decimal number system for example binary number system to decimal other basis to non decimal number system that is binary number system to hexadecimal let us see all of these in detail first decimal number system to other base for example decimal number system to binary number system to convert number system from decimal number system to any other base it is quite easy you have to just follow these two steps first step is to divide the number that is a decimal number by the base of the target base system in which you want to convert that number binary will be 2 octal will be 8 hexadecimal will be 16 these are the base values of each value system by a number system it will be 2, octal number system it will be 8, hexadecimal number system it will be 16. Then the second step says write the remainder from step 1 as least significant bit LSB to step last as most significant bit that is MSB. Example decimal to binary conversion. Question convert 123 to binary as you can see 1 2 3 is a decimal number and we have to convert it to the binary while writing the answer or while converting 123 to binary number system what you will write you will first write this value msb which is most significant bit and then this is how you will go so 1 and then you can see the arrow how it is going 1 and then this one then this one then this one this is how 4 times 1 then 0 then 1 1 and last this will be LSB you can see MSB and LSB so this is how you can convert 123 to binary number so any decimal number this is how you can do LCM and you can convert the number to binary number next students will see decimal to octal conversion as there is a decimal number over here 123 and we have to convert that decimal number to an octal conversion here is the solution students 123 as we have done binary numbers similar way we have to do octal number also same the LCM way but here in binary number we have to make sure that you are using 2 or you are dividing the value by 2 here you will make sure as you are doing octal number conversion you are dividing the value by 8 and whatever the value 123 divided by 8 you are whatever the remainder you are getting and whatever the values you are getting you can just write it and this is how you can actually write the values as 123 to the base 10 the decimal value is getting converted to this so this is the remainder of the value which is 1 which is most significant bit then 7 and 3 will be the values which is 7 will be the middle value and 3 will be the LSB which is least significant value. Next students next will understand the conversion. Conversion here in this we'll see conversion between decimal to hexadecimal conversion. Same we are taking 123 but because we are talking about hexadecimal over here here the division will be will be with 16 so 123 divided by 16 whatever the remainder will be so the value will be there so msb will be 7 lsb will be 11 which is also considered as b in hexadecimal so you can write the value as 123 to the base 10 is returned as 7b 7 will be a msb and b itself will be denoted as 11 so b will be returned as lsb to the base 16 now students, let us understand other bases to decimal number system. Steps. Determine the column or position value of each digit. This depends on the position of the digit and the base of the number system. Multiply the obtained column value in step 1 by the digit 
in corresponding columns. Sum the products called in step 2. The total is an equivalent value in decimal. Let us understand the example here, binary to decimal conversion. Till now students, we have seen decimal to binary, decimal to hexadecimal, decimal to octal conversion. Now we are doing binary conversion to decimal. Let us understand with an example. Convert 1111011 to the base 2. That means it is a binary value to decimal number. Decimal number will be to the base 10. Solution. Step number 1, as there are steps given over here. Step number 1, you will just make sure whatever the numbers are you will write. And then as per their positions, you will multiply them with 2 raised to whatever the value. As you can see, 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It goes on. So here, 1, 2 raised to 6 itself it will be 64. 64 multiplied by 1, answer 64. 2 raised to 5 is 32. Multiplied by 1, the answer is 32. 2 raised to 4 is 16. Multiplied by 1, the answer is 16. 2 raised to 3 is 8. The multiplied by 1, the answer is 8. 2 raised to 0 is 4. 2 raised to 2 is 2 raised to 2 is 4. But multiplied by 0, the answer will be 0 itself. 2 raised to 1 is 2. So answer will be 2. And 2 raised to 0, obviously the answer will be nothing over there. That's why 1 as it is. Whatever you will add this value and get will be to the base 10. So if you are adding all the values, you will be getting 123 to the base 10. So the same value what we have already got. So this is how you can convert a binary value to the decimal number. Now students, let us understand how this binary value and how the decimal it is converted to decimal numbers. Let us go towards the other example. Next is octal to decimal conversion. So here students we will be given an octal value and in that octal value we have to convert it to the decimal number system. Let us see 173 to the base 8 is an octal value we have to convert to decimal how we are going to convert we are just writing 173 then the same thing 8 raised to 0 8 raised to 1 8 raised to 2 as you know 8 raised to 2 is 64 64 multiplied by 1 is 64 itself 8 raised to 1 is 8 itself multiplied by 7 it will be 56 and 8 raised to 0 is again itself a 0 then you will just write value as it is together this value will be 123 to the base 10 so this is how we will be converting an octal value to the decimal number next students will see how to convert a hexadecimal value to the decimal number let's go towards the sum hexadecimal to a decimal conversion here the value is 7b to the raise to the base 16 to converting to the decimal number which is to the base 10 solution Similar way students, here 7b, so you will be just writing 7 multiplied by 16 raised to 1 and b multiplied by 16 raised to 0. As you know, 16 raised to 1 itself is 16, 16 multiplied by 7 is 112 plus 16 raised to 0 is 16, which will come 0 itself, so whatever the value will be, that is b is a value, so it will come as it is. And as you know, 112 plus b, that means 112 plus 11 students right as you know b itself will be 11 so that's why 112 plus 11 the answer will be 123 to the base 10 so this is how you can convert the hexadecimal value to the decimal because b is 11 in hexadecimal now students let us go towards other type of conversions other basis to non-decimal for example, binary system to decimal system. There are some steps which is mentioned over there. Convert the original number to a decimal number that is base 10. Second step is convert a decimal number so obtained to the new base number. Now it is given over here. We have to convert an octal number to the decimal conversion. Octal to decimal conversion. 
here the value is 25 to the base 8 and we have to convert it to binary octal to binary step number one as given over there first step number one we have to convert whatever the number it is given we have to convert it to base that is decimal base right so one is completed that is original number we have to convert to decimal number our step number two is now to convert that decimal number to binary so how we are going to convert 21 then again the lcm method you will follow and then you will convert decimal to binary so msb is this lsb is this so our value will be 10101 one, so 10101 one, one to the base 2 will be our value and this is how we are converting our octal value to the binary value so here you can write 25 to the base 8 will be returned as 10101 to the base 2. This is octal to binary conversion. Next students, there are some shortcut methods for conversion. I hope you are understanding how the conversion is. If we have to convert binary to octal, there are steps. Divide the binary digit into a group of 3 starting from right. Convert each group of three binary digit to one octal digit. Example, convert a binary number which is given over there. What is the binary number given over there, students? 10101 one, one. to the base 2. That is a binary number and we have to convert it to the octal number. How? The solution is given over here. 10101. Zero, one, zero, one. What they have told? Divide the binary digit into group of three. So from right we are doing the group of three. Okay, this this cannot be group of three because here the number ends. So we can just keep group of two over here. Now here we have split the value in group of three from the right hand side. That is one zero one and one is because there is no number we are considered as zero one zero. Next zero is added to complete group of three. Next, what we have to do, convert each group of 3 into one octal digit. So, you can consider this will be 5, this will be 2. So, together, this will be considered as 25 to the base 8. And this is how you can directly write a binary number to an octal number very quickly, students. If we have to do it, then what we have to do, we have to convert binary to the base 10 in a decimal number and then decimal number again to octal number. So this is how we have to do the actual long method. But here we don't have to use that different long methods and all. Here with the, using this shortcut, you can easily convert a binary number to an octal number. Students, I hope you are understanding how the conversion is happening. First, in the start of the video, what we have seen, students, we have seen what is binary, what is octal, what is decimal, what is hexadecimal, all this we have seen that, the definitions of that. Then we have seen conversions. Firstly, we have seen decimal to binary, decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal. Then we have seen hexadecimal to binary, hexadecimal to decimal, then octal to decimal, then binary to decimal. Then we have seen interchange, how these values are interchanging, how we are converting binary to octal, octal to some other values. This is how... We are converting the values from one to another, students. Next, students, here, octal to binary. For octal to binary, there are steps. So, first step is convert each octal digit to a three binary digit number. The octal digit may be treated as a decimal for this conversion. Combine all the resulting binary group of three digit into a single binary number converting an octal number to a 25 base to 8 to binary means there is an octal number which is given over there that is 25 base 8 and we have to convert that octal number to a binary number how we are going to do that we are going to follow the steps which is given there step number one is convert each digit into three binary numbers so two and five you have to convert it so two will be zero one zero and five will be one zero one so after combining both the values the answer will be zero one zero 
one zero one to the base two, and here is the answer. So this is how you can simply with shortcut method you can convert an octal number to a binary one. Next, binary to hexadecimal steps are divide the binary digit into group of four starting from right. Convert each group of four binary digit into one hexadecimal symbol. Let us apply the steps in the example, students. Example says, convert a binary number which is one zero one zero one to the base two to hexadecimal. That means converting that value to the base sixteen, right? So first, as per the solution, as per our steps, we have to convert or make group of four from right hand side so if you are splitting in group of four the first value will be zero one zero one and alone there will be one because there is single one so now it is considered as zero 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 that is three zeros are added and one so together it will be considered as one and this will be considered as five so together it is 15 to the base 16 so 15 was the binary number binary number whatever the binary number was so that binary numbers value in hexadecimal is 15 to the base 16 so 15 was the answer over here next students we'll be seeing hexadecimal value to binary convert each hexadecimal digit to the four digit binary number the hexadecimal digit may be treated as a decimal for this conversion. Combine all the resulting binary group of four digit each into a single binary number. Let us apply the steps in the example. Here is an hexadecimal number students 15 to the base 16 and we have to convert this number to binary. There must be a question in your examination. This is a number and now convert this number to the binary. So how you are going to do that? First, what we are going to do, we are going to split the two numbers, 1 and 5, and then we are going to write as group of 4. So, 1 will be written as 0, 0, 1, and 5 will be written as 0, 1, 0, 1. We, after that, we can just combine both the values, and then we are getting answer as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is the answer that is how we are going to convert an hexadecimal number to a binary number. With this students, we are ending the class. Thank you for being with us on Fun Known.